Good afternoon, and welcome to Eastern Kentucky University's Fall 2017 graduation for the College of Health Sciences. We here at EKU care about everyone's safety. In order to keep today, today's celebration just that, please take a moment to locate the emergency exits. In the event of an emergency, calmly move to the nearest exit and away from the building to allow emergency personnel access. We thank you for your consideration to keeping all attending today's celebration safe. Now, as we continue our celebration, in this ceremony, we are formally recognizing 229 bachelor's degrees, 93 master's degrees, 16 doctoral degrees, 51 associate degrees, for a total of 389 degrees from the eight departments of our college. At this time, we ask that you please rise for the presentation of colors and the singing of our national anthem. Remain standing until the guard has exited the gymnasium. Please be seated. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the College of Health Sciences of Eastern Kentucky University, Dr. Sheila Davidson Presley. families and friends, President Benson, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, thank you for joining us today to celebrate with our graduates this milestone event in their lives. At this time, I would like to recognize some special individuals here on the platform who have joined us this afternoon. Dr. Michael T. Benson, President of Eastern Kentucky University. Dr. Deborah Whitehouse, Interim Senior Vice President for Academics and Provost of Eastern Kentucky University. Craig Turner, Chair for the Board of Regents. Brian Mackinnon, 
staff regent. Laura Jackson, student regent. Juan Castro, regent. Richard Day, faculty regent. Dr. Jean Palka, president's cabinet. Miss Amy Jo Gable, president of the International Alumni Association. Dr. Jerry Pogachnik, dean of the graduate school. Dana Fole, President's Council, Nick Perlick, President's Council, Barry Pointer, President's Council, Dr. Matthew Winslow, Mace Bearer, Dr. Mary Clements, Part Time Associate Dean, Dr. Colleen Schneck, Part Time Associate Dean, Dr. Michael Ballard, Part Time Associate Dean. Please join me in expressing to them our appreciation for their dedicated service. I would like to welcome President Benson, who will bring opening remarks. Join me in welcoming our president. Good afternoon, and thank you very much, Dr. Presley. Congratulations to the class of 2017. This is truly an inspirational sight from my vantage point. I speak on behalf of everyone here on the platform in quoting the famous writer George Plimpton. In a commencement speech in, 18, excuse me, in 1978, Mr. Plimpton made this observation. He said this, We sense that you all are much brighter than we are. You speak a language that is almost foreign to us. You can read digital printouts. And what is particularly disturbing is that you all come out at the same time, May or June, or in our case today, in December, hordes with your dark graduation cloaks darkening the earth. This kind of has a Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth feel to it. Again, he made that observation in 1978. Today, we send you out into that bold, beautiful world beyond the confines of Madison County. And I encourage you to consider these very useful and wise words from New York Times columnist and Pulitzer Prize winner Tom Friedman. Several years ago, he charged the graduating seniors at Williams College with these words. Whatever you plan to do, whether you plan to travel the world next year, go on to graduate school, join the workforce, or take some time off to think, don't just listen to your head. Listen to your heart. It's the best career counselor that there is. Do what you really love to do. And if you don't know quite what that is yet, well, keep searching. Because if you find it, you'll bring that something extra to your work that will help ensure you will not be automated or outsourced. It will help make you an untouchable radiologist, an untouchable engineer, or an untouchable teacher. So to the graduating class today, we are so proud of you and this singular accomplishment in your life. You represent the very best that our society has to offer. And your degree from Eastern Kentucky University and the training and education that it represents has prepared you for whatever lies ahead. Now go out and make a difference. Good luck, Godspeed, and go Colonels. Thank you very much. Thank you, President Benson. I would like to now introduce our provost, Dr. Deborah Whitehouse, to bring us greetings from academic affairs. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Deborah Whitehouse. Thank you, Dr. Presley. Health science graduates and families, I am delighted to be here with you today to celebrate this milestone achievement in your career. You have completed challenging curriculums from nationally accredited programs and are educated to perform at the highest levels of excellence. You will give back tenfold to your communities. Today, we welcome you as colleagues into your disciplines in entry and advanced practice roles. You have earned the right, the responsibility, 
and the joy of a life in health practice. My deepest congratulations to each of you, your families, and the communities that you will serve as professionals. You will have amazing careers. Today, we are forever part of your history, and you are forever part of a proud EKU community. May the EKU force always be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Provost Whitehouse. Graduates, whether you are launching your career or advancing your practice, each of you has chosen a health profession in a demanding knowledge discipline. You will be continually required to think critically and to interact with caring as you work with individuals, families, and communities to improve health. You will unlearn and relearn as the evidence base for best practice evolves. You will continue to you will, you will continue to contribute to the evidence-based shaping practice that is culturally sensitive. Graduates, just imagine the force for health that is unleashed today as 389 of you leave our campus to work together interprofessionally to improve health. You are a tidal wave and you will move mountains. You have the ability to change lives and improve health, and you will have excellent employment opportunities. Families and friends, you are very fortunate to have a health professional in your close circle of life. Their new expertise will enrich your lives and improve your health. This afternoon's graduates include many who have achieved academic distinction. I want to recognize these groups. If you would, please hold your applause until all groups have been recognized. Would all those who are graduating this afternoon from our honors program as honors scholars please stand and remain standing? Would all those graduates who are members of one of health science's disciplinary, national, and international honor societies and EKU's International Interdisciplinary Honor Society, please remain standing as I call your society. Sigma Theta Tau International Nursing's Honor Society. Pi Theta Upsilon Occupational Therapies Honor Society. Epsilon Nu Eta Environmental Health Sciences Honor Society. Eta Sigma Gamma Health Promotion and Administration's Honor Society. Phi Upsilon Omicron, Family and Consumer Sciences Honor Society. Rho Phi Lambda, Recreation and Park Administration's Honor Society. Phi Kappa Phi, EKU's highest multidisciplinary honor society. Finally, if you are not yet standing, would all those who are graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude, please stand and remain standing. Let us honor these three groups of outstanding student scholars. You may be seated. Throughout her history, Eastern Kentucky University has been known as a school of opportunity, and we will always be proud of that distinction. I am particularly pleased to acknowledge this afternoon the many first-generation college students who are earning a degree. This means that neither of their parents nor anyone in any earlier generation was a college graduate. Will all the graduates for degrees who are the first generation in their families to earn a college degree, please stand. Please be seated. 
Commencement is also the time we recognize the many others who have contributed to the success of these candidates with resources, encouragement, occasional cajoling, love, and understanding. Now, I ask the following to stand as you are presented and remain standing so that we may welcome and honor you as a group. Will the parents of the candidates for graduation please stand? Ah. Will the spouses of the candidates please stand? <laughs> Yes. Will the grandparents of the candidates please stand? Yes. Will children and other family members of the candidates please stand? <laughs> Will the faculty and the staff who have instructed and served these candidates please stand? <laughs> Degree candidates, please join me in showing your appreciation for these very important people in your lives with a generous round of applause. This college is pleased to present both an undergraduate and graduate speaker for our ceremony. Ms. Vona Grable, Chair of Environmental Health Science and Medical Laboratory Science, will introduce our undergraduate speaker. Dr. Colleen Schneck, Chair of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy, will introduce our graduate speaker. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you the Health Sciences undergraduate speaker, Mariah Richardson. She is from Liberty, Kentucky, and she is getting her degree in environmental health sciences. <clears throat> Excuse me. Celebrating with Mariah is, are her mom and stepfather, Joe and Miranda Martingale, stepmother, Danielle Hinkle, and grandparents, Mike and Patricia Richardson and Lawrence and Sharon Hinkle, as well as numerous other family and friends. I know that they are as proud of her and her accomplishments as we are. So it, now it is my pleasure to introduce to you the undergraduate student speaker for this afternoon's commencement program, Mariah Richardson. Good afternoon to you all. Every day is a great day to be a colonel, but today is an extra special day to be a colonel. First, thank you. Thank you everyone for coming out this afternoon. Thank you everyone for celebrating this day with all of us. And thank you for sharing this time that we shall all remember for a lifetime. When this ceremony concludes, the students sitting in these seats will officially be graduates of Eastern Kentucky University, whether it's with our associates, our bachelors, or our graduate degrees, we're all hitting a personal milestone. Today, we are joining the ranks of the Colonel alumni family, and today we are also commencing on the next steps and next paths in our own personal journeys. Our journeys have not all been the same. Take mine, for example. I was born in Danville and raised in Liberty, a very rural area. Like a lot of kids nowadays, especially in Kentucky, I was raised a lot of my life by my grandparents. As I am sure someone or many of you all sitting here today, you know exactly what I'm talking about 
when I say grandparents do not always understand the life of college. My grandparents did not attend college, but they did work really hard for what they have, and they taught me the meaning and value of hard work and paying forward. When it came time for me to start college, they did not really know much about the financial aid or the application process. To this very day, my grandparents sometimes do not understand the many complexities that involve the university experience or the college processes and the many things that need to be done. However, through their guidance, steadfast support, and their ability to instill a strong work ethic within me, I became self-supporting around the age 18. Like many of you, when I entered college, I was working full-time while attending school full-time. We did not have it easy. For that reason, we celebrate more today. We celebrate adversity presented by finances. We celebrate our perseverance. We celebrate our determination. We celebrate our values, our time management skills, our newfound organization skills, and our greater appreciation for value of hard work. We also thank those today who are with us and those who may not be able to physically join us. We thank them for instilling in us the worth, ethic, and determination to obtain our advanced educations and for laying the groundwork for us to have a better and brighter future. I arrived at EKU in the fall of 2015. I was a transfer student from St. Catherine College. St. Catherine's was on the verge of closing and I was forced to find a place to go to continue my education. As one door closed, I had help with another opening, as my uncle and mother both graduated from EKU. I came in seeking a degree in mechanical engineering. Today, I'm leaving with a bachelor's of science in environmental health science. It's been a long time coming. I found the EHS degree thanks to my cousin Josh, who earned a degree from EKU in occupational safety. He suggested that I meet with Dr. Barnett and take the introduction for environmental health science. After meeting with Dr. Barnett, I learned about the numerous career opportunities I would have with this degree. Once I took the intro class, I knew this is what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to learn more about this field. During a meeting with Dr. Brown, I learned a great deal more in the most colorful terms about exactly what I could do with my potential future with an environmental health science degree. Doors continue to open for me. This past January, I was able to complete a co-op at Altec Industries in Elizabethtown, Kentucky in their safety department. My co-op has been one of the best experiences of my life, but my co-op was made possible thanks to the EHS department. The EHS department wants all of their students to be successful when they graduate. This passion for success is one of the many reasons they require an internship or a co-op prior to graduation. The experience I gained from my co-op further fostered my passion and my love for the environmental health profession. I was able to learn about new safety regulations I did not know about, along with on-the-job learning of what it takes to be a true leader. I was put on some jobs as the lead person, and I had to make sure that the job was done. The experience also helped me with coming out of my shell. I met hundreds of people. The plant I was at had 900 associates. I had to talk to someone different daily. My co-op provided me with a better outlook on the importance of workplace safety. The practice-based education at EKU combined with our field trips and classes are what make EKU a special place and make our degrees worth so much more. Through this co-op experience and my time at EKU, I've decided I want to continue my education. So this spring, I will begin my pursuit of a master's in occupational safety here at EKU. It did not take long for me to notice once I transferred the difference coming from a small private school in a small city to a larger public school in a bigger city. I graduated high school with a total of 500 students and started at college with 1,200 students. When I arrived at EKU, I gained 16,000 new student friends. 16,000 versus 500 was a huge adjustment for me. Looking back at my time at EKU, I did not branch out like I wish I had. I did not meet new people until my last two semesters here. After joining the Environmental Health Science Club in the fall of 2016, I began to branch out and meet new people. It allowed me to become more involved. Through this, I even ended up becoming a committee chairwoman for the club. Being part of this club has helped me to feel more comfortable at EKU. It brought me back to my high school days when I was very involved in activities. 
The EHS Club has become my second family. As the semesters went on, we all became much closer and more open with one another. This fall, we all came together and gathered water and canned goods for the Hurricane Harvey disaster relief. If I could go back, I would have branched out sooner, met more people, and become more involved in campus life. I want to thank the club for helping bring me out of my shell. I treasure all the people I've met. With my EHS degree, I was given the opportunity to study abroad this past October. We studied in Jamaica for nine days, an experience that many students do not get. We visited a meat packaging plant, attending the One Health International Conference, and even participated in a volunteer project, but in a concrete solid waste container. Now, now let's take a minute to look back at our experiences at EKU. A minute to look back at all we should be accomplished and all that we should be proud of. As I look at each and every one of you, I see smiling faces, a stark difference from when I graduated high school. Everyone was upset upon the ending of the chapter, but today, today is another story. Today we start our lives, entering a new world for some, entering the adult world, world of some, and feeling entirely on your own from this day forward. Through my experience here at EKU, I've gained so much. I've been best, blessed with some of the best faculty and classmates a student could have. One of the best memories I'll have, though, is what the EHS Club has showed me, that we care about everyone. We are a family that will support one another. Having gained the knowledge and wisdom we came seeking, we are leaving using the passion and purpose that was instilled in us here at EKU. We are closing one chapter of our lives today while starting a completely new one. I would like to wish each and every one of you the best of luck. But remember who you are. Please remember who you are. Whether in the workforce or another institution, remember you are a product of Eastern Kentucky University and the EKU College of Health Sciences. You're a product of hard work. You're a product of determination. And you're not afraid to face challenges. And you can be part of solving the world's complex challenges. You are a colonel. And just like my grandparents, you'll make the lives of others better through your values and lifelong exchange of knowledge. We must improve our nation, our commonwealth, our world, and our communities. It is our duty as we commence. Good luck and God bless you all, and go Colonels. I have the honor of introducing to you an outstanding student who will present our graduate student address. This afternoon, that honor belongs to Rachel Vick of Bay Village, Ohio, who's graduating with a master's degree in Master's of Science in Occupational Therapy. Sharing in Rachel's special day are her parents, Sharon and Jim Vick, and three older siblings who cannot be here today. It is my pleasure and privilege to introduce the graduate student speaker for this afternoon's commencement, Rachel Vick. Hello, and welcome, class of 2017, family and friends, faculty and staff, and current students, to the commencement ceremony for the College of Health Sciences. It's been a long and rewarding journey for each and every one of us. We are finally here. We have made it to the finish line. My name is Rachel Vick, and I am a candidate for a master's degree in occupational therapy. I spent my undergraduate years at EKU as well, combining my roles as a student and an athlete playing on the volleyball team and earning my degree in occupational science in the spring of 2016. During my graduate years, I worked as a graduate assistant in the Student Success Center. This is my sixth year at Eastern Kentucky, and I can attest that every person I have met and worked with at EKU embodies the values of the university. EKU is a part of us all. It has shaped us into who we are and laid down the foundation for who we will become. When I decided to apply to speak at this commencement ceremony, the first step was to jot down some ideas. I started brainstorming by reviewing commencement speeches of the past. In search of inspiration, I listened to famous actors speaking about their personal journeys to success and renowned authors and scientists imparting wisdom onto the next generation of thinkers and doers. The speeches delivered at universities across the country 
shared commonalities. Working hard, dedicating yourself to a vision, setting goals, keeping high expectations, taking responsibility for actions, and persevering through challenges emerged as common themes. Inspiring as they were, I felt it was wrong to mimic the messages of other individuals. I wanted to speak from my heart to yours today, graduates, because I have realized something throughout my years here at EKU. Uniqueness of thought and of action counts. You have experiences and perspectives that no speech, no matter how inspirational, can encapsulate totally. This line of thought led me to reflect upon what unique experiences and perspectives I have which could help me to shape my own vision. I found that my message could revolve around one of my favorite concepts that I learned about at EKU, the concept of occupational identity. On our graduation day, I'm sure the last thing that you want to do is attend another lecture, but don't worry, the pop quiz that will be taken up will not be for a grade, so you can relax. I know my classmates here today will know this concept well, for those of you unfamiliar with the phrase, let me break it down. Occupational identity has two parts, occupation and identity. Our occupations are not just our chosen careers. They are everything that we do. They hold meaning in our lives and they make us who we are. We study, hang out with family and friends, play instruments, paint canvases, care for pets, write articles, take pictures, play sports, and care for ourselves and those in our lives. Our identity comes into play when we consider what it is that we stand for. What are the values that we hold highest? What do we consider most important in how we live our lives? Why do we do the things that we do? We study because we value academic achievement and hard work. We cherish our loved ones, so we spend time with them. We honor our creativity, so we innovate, design, and improve. We are sisters and brothers, so we protect and respect one another. We are passionate about the well-being of others, so we have chosen to work within the field of health care and health sciences. What we do is because of who we are. The two are intertwined and synced together to make up our occupational identities. These values, beliefs, personalities, and all of the other little bits and pieces of ourselves shine through when we do the things that we love. Like the snowflakes falling outside, no one of us is like the other. But together, we can create something beautiful, something bigger than we can by standing alone. Embrace the delicate differences between us because we are all essential pieces to the big picture. So then, what do we share? What characteristics unite us in such a way to bring us together in this coliseum, in this moment? Most obviously, we are students, successful EKU students. We have studied in different disciplines and come from different hometowns across Kentucky, the country, and around the world, inspired by the faculty and staff, especially those on the stage behind me, encouraged and supported by each other, and supported by our family and friends, we have not been afraid to take on the challenges of earning a college degree. That is what it means to be a colonel, to succeed and to help others do the same. EKU has been a place where we have grown and come to love the individuals that we are, and we are colonels through and through. So we are united through the embodiment of the values of Eastern, so much so to call ourselves colonels. But what else unites us? What connects us to each other and to every person on Earth? We are dreamers. We have goals, aspirations, and plans. We have a vision for ourselves and for our futures. Without it, we wouldn't be here together in this room. We strive to make an impact in the lives of others. To quote my volleyball coach, Lori Duncan, we are ready to make our mark. At this point, we have reached the end of one path and see before us the beginning of another. Although we cannot predict the final destination, we dream of it and what it will be like when we get there. While this is a lovely ability to be able to dream, it does come with a catch. Indeed, with dreams come fears, with goals come failures, and with plans come setbacks, roadblocks, and obstacles. How do we handle the difficulties that we encounter? I think that Theodore Roosevelt, our 26th president, said it best with this quote. 
Far better is it to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in the gray twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. We can all recall what failures are checkered through our pasts. Past failures caused us to doubt ourselves and our dreams. Can we really accomplish everything that we set our minds to? Will we really make it to our final destination? What we can be sure of on this day and in this moment, we know what it feels like to have overcome the doubts and fears. From this day, we can look back and think of our mistakes and understand how essential those moments were to push us into this one. We can cross this stage today knowing that we are capable of achieving our goals. If only we remember that the failures and doubts do not mean that we will not succeed. They will only help us to get where we are going. So now, as our identities shift from student to professional, we can definitely expect to encounter challenges. Some will be seemingly insurmountable. Some we will never have encountered before. We will inevitably doubt ourselves again and feel the fear of failure. But we, EKU kernels, are stronger than doubt. We are stronger than fear because we know what it means to overcome. We know what it means to support and to love, to give and to receive, to fight and to conquer. We can and will choose to continue on, to walk forward with our heads held high and proud, for we are graduates of Eastern Kentucky University, and we have been prepared for anything that life might throw our way. We do this by staying true to our identities, remembering what we stand for, and trusting our internal compasses to guide us. Today, realize that you are capable of being your own commencement speaker. Look not to others for inspiration, but turn your gaze inward. Your unique thoughts and actions count. With this in the forefront of our minds, we will continue to dream, try, and fail. We are all works in progress, but we've got a pretty good start here at EKU. So without further ado, congratulations to the class of 2017 and go Colonels. Thank you, Mariah, our undergraduate student speaker. And thank you, Rachel, our graduate student speaker, for your very inspiring words. President Michael Benson and Interim Provost Deborah Whitehouse will now proceed with the formal conferring of degrees of our graduates. The department chairs will present candidates from their disciplines. Candidates, as your department name is called, Please stand and remain standing until the final group is called. Beth Gamble, the Chair of Associate Degree Nursing, will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in Associate Degree Nursing please stand? Dr. Mary Clements, Chair of Baccalaureate and Graduate Nursing, will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in Baccalaureate and Graduate Nursing please stand? <laughs> Ms. Bona Grable, Chair of Environmental Health and Medical Laboratory Science, will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in environmental health science and medical laboratory science please stand? <laughs> Dr. Eric Fuchs, Chair of Exercise and Sports Science, will present the candidates from his department. <clears throat> Will the candidates for the degrees in exercise and sports science please stand? Dr. Dana Bush, Chair of Family and Consumer Sciences, will present the candidates from her department. 
Will candidates for degrees in all programs of family and consumer sciences please stand? Dr. Michael Ballard, Chair of Health Promotion and Administration, will present the candidates from his department. Will the candidates for degrees in Health Services Administration and Public Health please stand? Dr. Colleen Schneck, Chair of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy, will present the candidates from her department. Will the candidates for degrees in Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy please stand? <laughs> Dr. Michael Bradley, faculty member from Recreation and Park Administration, will present the candidates from his department. Will the candidates for degrees in Recreation and Park Administration please stand? Will the candidates for degrees in general studies in health sciences please stand? <laughs> Dr. Whitehouse. President Benson, Dean Jerry Pagochnik will recognize candidates for graduate degrees. College of Health Sciences offers the following degrees at the graduate level. Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Public Health, Doctor of Nursing Practice, and Occupational Therapy Doctorate. Congratulations to all graduate students. President Benson, with the recommendation of the faculty, the deans and I present these candidates for your conferring of their degrees. Candidates, the long anticipated hour has come. You are here with family and loved ones looking on. The faculty and officers of the university are gathered in witness and testimony to your conduct and purpose. Therefore, by virtue of the authority granted me by the Board of Regents of Eastern Kentucky University and with the faculty's recommendation, it is now my pleasure to confer upon each of you the appropriate degree and do hereby vest each of you with the rights and privileges pertaining to that degree. Once verified by final grades, your diploma will be confirmed and acknowledged by the great seal of Eastern Kentucky University. Congratulations. And candidates, please be seated. Dr. Michael Bradley will now read the names of the graduates. Out of respect for the graduates and their families, especially those whose names are to be called next, Please hold your applause until all the graduates have been recognized. Thank you. Dean President, Department Chairs and Faculty will now proceed with the presentation of candidates for degrees within the College of Health Sciences. Graduates will receive diploma covers and graduate students will be hooded with the colors of their discipline and Eastern Kentucky University. Associate of Science in Nursing, Melissa Jervis. Melissa Prater. Jessica Baker. Catherine Blaine. Katherine Gordon. Lindsay Garcia. Brittany Little. Brittany Wisman. Ashley Barnett. 
Angela Poole, Jennifer Wise, Haley Malik, Trevor Thompson, Justin Fox, Daniel Music, Ashley Hammonds, Morgan Conrad, Shelby Roloff, Hannah Johnson, Catherine Montel, Kelsey Vickers, Whitney Gauntz, Abby Boys, Shelby Clark, Cheyenne Smith, Caitlin Green, Doctorate of Nursing Practice, Sarah Elizabeth Gay. Doctorate of Nursing Practice, Diana Marie Beckman. Doctorate of Nursing Practice, Bridget Holleran. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Angela Wood. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Kimberly Crawford. Doctor of Nursing Practice, Rosemary Patrick. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Brittany Hammond. Lauren Lambden. Treva Stuber. Lorenzo Brewer. Rachel Hardeman. Drew Coleman. Marilyn Blair Boers. Catherine Edwards. Stephen Riley, cum laude. Derek Kirby. Adrian Bertovich. Olivia Prather. Kendall Williams. Casey Hutchinson. Alexis Hunter, cum laude. Meredith Bruns, Megan Hudnall, Margaret Simpson, cum laude, Lauren Chapman, cum laude, Haley Berryman, Catherine Dunn, Ashley Bowling, magna cum laude, Tina Bryant, Bonnie Withers, Master of Public Health, Audric Front, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Health Science, 
Gordon Mason. Arthur Wolak. Kevin Harris, magna cum laude. Mariah Richardson. Ricky Smith. Hussein Almanzer. Paige McEldred. Allison Stapp, magna cum laude. Emily Stallions, cum laude. Haley Parsons. Elizabeth Bibout. Daniela Fawson, magna cum laude. Marissa Puckett, cum laude. Aaron Ross. Michaela Sloan. Brianna Osborne. Oh. Master of Science, Physical Education, Sarah Johnson. Master of Science, Physical Education, Louisa Boshin. Master of Science, Physical Education, Zachary Salyers. Bachelor of Science, Physical Education, Cora Whitaker, Nicholas Gillis, Cameron Kowalowski, Dakota Estes, Jacob Smith, Tanner Watts, Robert Montgomery, Demetria Young, Brett Deshawn, Bailey Babcock, Jacob Cottle, Jacob Waldecker, Laura Garman, Matthew Rogers, Dylan Dampier, Spencer Sled, Chase Warren, Marcella Rocha, Master of Science, Physical Education, Keontae Northington, Master of Science, Physical Education, Sarah Fobbs. Master of Science, Physical Education, Amadi Brooks. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Family and Consumer Science, Courtney Hayes, magna cum laude. Lauren Foster, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Collins. Rebecca McGee, Jessica May, Hannah Hayes, Natasha Gilbert, Andrea Turner, Mackenzie Summers, Olivia White, Public Health, magna cum laude. Destiny Rout. Olivia Scalia. 
Kayla Freeman, magna cum laude. Amber Moberly, magna cum laude. Savannah Martin, cum laude. Ladinia Lopez. Allison Lenore. Audrey Garrison. Breon Watley. Elise Everett. Bachelor of Science, Health Services Administration, Taylor Blair. Allison Martin. Anastasia Canoy. Katrina King. Casey Jackson. Stephen Garrett, summa cum laude. Tiffany Yance. Jessica Manjet. Whitney Hargis. Ashley Parady. Hannah Henson. Brianna Miles. Alexandria Lannison. Mackenzie Todd. Olivia Bustetter. Cody Campbell. Chelsea Fenwick, cum laude. Jordan Andres. Courtney Easterling, magna cum laude. Devon Robinson. Rachel Greenwell. Kristen McCarty, magna cum laude. Lexi Turner. Emily Oler, Michaela Walters, Leah White, Kibuya Mabika, Zachary Reams, Haley Dahl, Tim Combs. Doctor of Occupational Therapy, Casey Humphrey. Doctor of Occupational Therapy, Donald Pitts. Doctor of Occupational Therapy, Lisa Heestand. Doctor of Occupational Therapy, Cindy Poole. Doctor of Occupational Therapy, Michael Stone. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Renee Bell. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Chelsea Cobbler. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Natalie Field. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Rachel Green.
Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Miranda Manns. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Brandon Simpson. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Sarah Anderson. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Abby Hobbs. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Kara Wade. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Bobby Smith. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Dustin Turner. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Kaylin Wilson. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Brittany Phelps. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Mally Shukleklevich. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Elizabeth Mueller. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Nicholas Frost. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Caitlin Bird. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Lacey Russell. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Jennifer Cottle. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Natalie Fielders. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Clarissa McQueen. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Macaulay Schifferdecker. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Mackenzie King. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Rebecca Gerwe. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Ashley Wilson. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Rachel Vick. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Nicole Forright. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Alicia Elder. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Katherine Scott. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Leah Sizemore. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Rachel Perkins. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Ashley Wilson.
Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Anna Maddox. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Gabriella Bowling. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Jordan Blackaby. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Chelsea Newman. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Paige Chester. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Hannah Higgins. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Alexis Wagner. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Leah Wiseman. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Brianna Crawley. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Haley Lewis. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Lindsay Harvey. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Abby Graham. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Jennifer Grubb. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Jacob Davis. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Stephen Smallwood. <laughs> Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Benjamin Turner. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Jessica Washburn. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Sarah Haney. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Lindsay Smith. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Brooke Sheffield. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Luke Nolte. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Olivia Ponder. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Kelsey Cross. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Leah Volpenheim. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Brenna Brown. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Holly Belcher. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Jason, Jason Washburn. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Madison Mitchell. Madis Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Shelby Bell. Suresh? 
Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Amanda Burrish. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Ashley Thorburn. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Tate Henson. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Cassidy Miller. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Ella Claire Lutz McCarty. Master of Science, Occupational Therapy, Mary Wagner. Master of Science, Recreation and Park Administration, Christina Bradley. Bachelor of Science, Recreation and Park Administration, Kimberlane Denton. Allison Jones. Connor Blankenship. Ashley Summers. Rakendra Mason. April Mason. Amber Sears, cum laude. Heather Craig, Elizabeth Brubeck, Emily Lake, summa cum laude, Ashley Vaughn, Miranda Robertson, Shelby O'Connor, James Miller, Phoebe Kingsley, Ryan Hinges, Bachelor of Arts, General Studies, Joyce Sanders, Madison Oaks, Johnny Mitchell, Sergio Marcello, Austin Thomas, Mary Piper, Caitlin Mattingly, cum laude. Jonna Willis. Everett Talbert. William Swope. Leslie Kathleena. DeShayla Rivers. Ryan Marcus Hallman. Mustaf Almajid, <laughs> Associate of Arts, General Studies, Leslie Day, Amanda Williams, How about a big round of applause for Dr. Michael Bradley for reading all the names? <laughs> well done, Professor.
Graduates, the moment for which you have worked so long and so hard is now at hand. If you have not already done so, please now move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. Very exciting time. Alumni are so very important in the life of a university, and we are blessed at Eastern to have the loyal support of more than 140,000 alumni. Here to present the International Alumni Association is Ms. Amy Jo Gable. She will now offer greetings to our newest alumni. Graduates. It is my honor to stand here today on behalf of all EKU alumni to say congratulations to each of you on your graduation and your new status as a forever colonel. What an amazing day in your life's journey. I know you will hear this a lot today, but let me join in and also say that your alumni peers are so very proud of you. I hope that you will take the time to not only celebrate what this day means to you and your families, but to also reflect on everything it took to get you here and everyone that was there to help along the way. The incredible magic that makes up Eastern Kentucky University is dedicated faculty and staff, dynamic students, and supportive alumni. With your graduation, your role at Eastern may change, but your importance to her never will. Embrace the responsibility. Do all you can to be alumni that we are proud to claim and that students who come after you look up to and wish to emulate. As you leave this place today, never forget that you always have a home here and we hope you visit often. Congratulations again and enjoy every moment of the celebration. Thank you, Ms. Gable. Now, for one last time, let us recognize with a hearty round of applause Eastern Kentucky University's newest graduates of the College of Health Sciences. that each of you will stay close with your EKU family and visit us frequently. We hope you will come back for additional credentials and that your families will enroll in our degrees. That's right. And new workforce certificates that we will be offering throughout the region. Whatever your aspiration, there's always a place for you at EKU. Graduates, to continue your celebration, at the conclusion of today's ceremony, please meet your families, friends, and faculty at the reception being held in the auxiliary gym directly behind me on the concourse level. You may enter from either end of the corridor. There will be several stations set up with refreshments available. Family and friends, please take this time to meet your graduates, friends, and faculty. I would like to thank our reader, Dr. Michael Bradley, our musicians, Dr. Joyce Wolf and the EKU Symphony Orchestra for their beautiful music. Thank you to our interpreters, Shirley Rivard and Chelsea Noggle, and to the College of Health Sciences graduation ceremony coordinator, Ms. Reglina Salmons, all of the faculty, the staff and student marshals of the College of Health Sciences, and EK of EKU who worked so hard to support our college event today. Please stand as we jointly sing My Old Kentucky Home and remain standing until the stage platform exits the floor at the conclusion of today's ceremony.